In the world of independent filmmaking, earning an invitation to the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah, is the golden ticket. So when filmmaker Meg Smaker's documentary Jihad Rehab got the invite to screen at this year's event, she was thrilled to show her film centered around four former Guantanamo Bay prisoners sent to a rehab center in Saudi Arabia. But after the festival, when offers of meetings and investments are supposed to come pouring in, that's why you go there, something else happened. The festival issued not one, but two apologies for screening the film. Why? Because Meg Smaker is a white woman. And this white woman had the audacity to tell the story of people in her film who are not white. Before the episode with Sundance, even typically liberal publications loved the film. From The Guardian, this is a movie for intelligent people looking to have their preconceived notions challenged. And from Variety, the film feels like a miracle and an interrogative act of defiance. But good reviews weren't enough to protect her from the activists, in some cases coming from her own colleagues, like this from Lebanese-American documentarian Jude Chobb. My voice should be stronger than a white woman saying that it isn't, point blank. And from a Toronto, Toronto film critic, Pat Mullen, the questions seek to humanize the men, but they still frame them as terrorists. Other major festivals caught wind of Sundance's actions and pulled jihad, rehab, from their events. The outrage against it subsequently killing any chance it had for recognition or success. And, and to give you a sense of what the film was like, Here's a bit of it where one of the former terrorists speaks about his life and his one-time attraction to Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. Uh, because of what I study in Afghanistan, now when I start this business in Saudi Arabia, make uh, remote controls of the cars and key of the cars. So you're saying you went from making remote control bombs to remote control car alarms? <laughs> <I think. laughs> Yes. Do you ever think about people that were killed by the bombs? I stopped thinking about it, but I was thinking about it when I was in Guantanamo. It was the first time I watched the video that the plane hitting the, the building. But when you see the people jumping from the building, it's not, uh, uh, it's not victory. I feel shame about this. I felt that I did mistake. Sometimes when you go to sleep and you're thinking about what you did, it's not something to be proud about it. It's not, uh, I, oh, I wish that would be forgiven by God and, uh, you know, to forgive myself about what I did before. my kids now. I think it will be hard in the future to explain the, to them what's, you know, what you was believing and how they change and why. All right, so that's what the film is, in a, is about. It's an examination of why these guys went over the edge. And, and actually, you would think that the concern might have been that conservatives were going to attack the film for humanizing these guys. But no, no, no. Now, Meg Smaker stands accused of Islamophobia and American propaganda by Arab and Muslim filmmakers and, of course, their white supporters, which is all so absurd. Earlier, I spoke with Meg Smaker. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Appreciate Thank you. it. Appreciate it. All right, so you must be incredibly frustrated. I mean, these, some of these people and groups, individuals, are people who supported the film, and then controversy starts, and they say, we're out of here. Yeah. 
Um, I think it's like two levels of frustration. So the film was announced uh, like full, a full almost month and a half, two months before Sundance, and after the announcement, um, the film was, film was immediately attacked, uh, meaning no one had seen it yet. 